Okay, so it's been a while since I did a video, but I have gotten a ton of new books and I kind of wanted to do a video breaking down each one and why I like it and kind of show the inside. So if you guys want to see all these books and their breakdowns, stay tuned for this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and start from the top and my dogs are over here aggressively playing because that's what they do all day, every day. Um, so let me go ahead and get started here. One second. Hopefully my dogs don't knock over my camera. I'm probably not going to edit this out because, you know, this is real life. And yeah. So, so for the first one, um, it is just a edibles wild plant pocket guide. Now it's on laminated paper and it has a breakdown of seeds and nuts, fruits and berries, leaves, stems and bark, um, fruit berries, what's poisonous, what's edible, um, seashore plants, poisonous plants, contact poisonous plants, and tropical plants. So this is just a really cool little pocket guide. Um, I don't know where you get this at. It says on the back that it was $7.95 in the US. Um, they had another type of pocket guide for like bird watching. Um, I got this at the thrift store for a quarter, um, but I didn't get the bird watching one because I'm just really not that interested. Will you guys stop and knock it off, please? Um, so let's see. Now these other books right here are going to be for essential oils and um i haven't really done too much on my channel with essential oils but um i definitely want to do more on that stop it this new puppy just agitates and agitates and agitates so yeah all kinds of trouble they are all right go over there go 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 and this is my big baby, who's just a camera ham. Yes, she is. Okay, so the first one is going to be Aroma Flavors, 500 Ways um, to Use Young Living Oils. Um, I thought that this was like something that they, you know, give in their kits or send you. Um, it's not. It's actually a book by Life Science. In fact, all of these are by Life Science. So this one is Aroma Flavors 500. It's got all types of blends and things in it. Over on my Instagram, I will be doing videos on different blends. Um, throughout the seasons, this is another one. I did do a video the other day for child's, uh, children's immune health um, for school, like going to school and stuff like that. And that one is throughout the seasons. And then there's The Art of Blending. Same thing, just a bunch of, um, just a bunch of different recipes for blending essential oils. And then this one is DIY Lifestyle. Um, and I believe this one is like cleaning and making soap. Um, health care, face creams, things like that. And then this one here is for cleaning your house and making different cleaning supplies and candles and soaps. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, again, these are all by Life Science. Um, and they average um, anywhere from like $5 to $30. Um, and then I think some different listings, um, actually had the whole group that you could buy together. Um, but that was like on eBay. So if you want these books on essential oils, they do have a ton of recipes and jam-packed information. I think my dogs have finally left. <laughs> they got bored. So these next three books are actually 
books that I got at Five and Below. Um, it's getting cold out here. I'm in my chores hoodie, so it's a little, it's a little stained up. But, um, so I have a herbal handbook. It has, uh, let's see, tinctures, teas, balms, and more in it. It was only $5. I wouldn't say that these books are the best books, but this one was by far probably the best um, one for recipes and things like that in it. It does have very pretty pictures of each herb, and it tells you, you know, like, what part of the plant is edible. So this was definitely a really good deal. For only being $5, I definitely recommend um, going to Five and Below and picking this up. Um, I did learn quite a few things in it. And this one is Radical Remedies, um, the Herbalist Guide to Empowering Self-Care. Um, I'm not too big into the empowerment books and the witchy books. Um, I feel like a lot of herbalist um, books they kind of like target the whole witchy atmosphere. Um, the next book I have is one of those books, but it has a lot of recipes in it that aren't in my other books. So this one had a lot of tea recipes in it, but this is the Witchy's Herbal Apothecary book. Um, it has a lot of stuff in it that I don't really agree with, but um, a lot of a lot of cool recipes. If you wanted that book it's at five and below the same as this one radical remedies um it had quite a few things in it as well i feel like i'm missing a book because i know i had oh no it's this one um like i found a lot of good information in this book and highlighted a lot of things in it so this is a good one and the herbals handbook these two are at five and below right now they're really good books go pick them up um the last three books are probably my favorite books so the first two are by rosemary gladstar now everybody who, who really studies herbs and stuff they already know about rosemary gladstar probably already have her books if not one of the first books they purchased because she is just an awesome lady who knows a ton of information and i also watch her youtube channel her voice and her spirit is just so calming and she's so knowledgeable to teach she's been teaching for a long time like i forget how long she said but it's been a long time now breaking down her book a little bit to why I like her book. So her book is broken down into sections and she will tell like the ratios and stuff that you will find in recipes um, because a lot of like tea recipes are like one part this, two parts that. And a lot of people don't know what that means and she breaks it down really easy and really simple. And then if you are new to herbalism or anything like that, she talks about teas, the differences between teas and infusions and um, detox medicine and syrups and oils, salves and tinctures, um, just all the different things. And then she also gives you um, how much to take for, you know, um, I just drew a blank, like half a teaspoon or 10 drops of, you know, tinctures. Like she gives the breakdown for it, which is really good. And then she also shows you how to make herbal pills. This caught my attention and I was super ecstatic about it because um, herbal pills. I've been wanting to make some herbal vitamins for quite a while, but to get the capsules and the capsule um, maker press thing, it's going to run me about $100 to get it all started, which is not really too bad. But if there was a way I could make some herbal pills um, earlier, I would be happy. Well, Rosemary Glassar has already figured that out. And it's pretty much these little, this paste that she makes. She rolls it up and then she puts like a cocoa powder or something around it. And it makes these little pills. Um, 
everything I have looked up online, I have never come across making herbal pills in this way. So that was really cool. Um, I do talk most about this book because it's just got some really good information in it. And it doesn't just tell you um, the medicine for adults. It goes all the way from younger than three months all the way up to 12 years an adult. So if you have little kids and you're scared to give them um, herbs and stuff because you don't know the doses, she has it covered and teaching you how to do that. So um, when it comes to the herbs, so for the rest of the book, it's going to be all the herbs and her recipes that go along with that herbs. There's beautiful demonstrations on how to make it and um, pictures of what the herb looks like. So definitely get this book if you're starting out um, in herbalism because it will teach you literally everything that you need to know pretty much. I mean, it's going to teach you all the different things you can make with herbs and then you can go from there in learning what herbs work best for you and your body and your health. So the next um, book that I have is Herb for Children's Health. Now this one is by Rosemary Gladstar too, but it targets ailments for children and little things that they get, you know, like ear infections and coughs and sore throats. Um, right now my son is actually sick. I made her um, a cough be gone, sore throat syrup, and it definitely is helping with that but she has how to make elderberry syrup for children because as you have seen in my other videos um, I did an elderberry video and you have to be really careful with elderberry because it can actually be toxic if it's not made correctly so excuse me she talks about how to make elderberry syrup specifically for children so this book is really cool and it's actually like a little mini series that she made they also have one for herbs for common ailments herbs for stress and anxiety um, it does show that on the back and then when you order on Amazon it will ask you at the bottom if you want to bundle all three so you can pick up all three I just got this one but um, I really wish I would have gotten both of them but I was just kind of trying to make my like $25 for free shipping and I threw this on here because it was like six or seven bucks and the last one um, I just got at a thrift store yesterday and I only paid like 50 cents or a dollar for it it was super cheap but it is probably the most interesting book um it is Rodell's illustration encyclopedia of herbs and it was copyrighted in 1987 so it is a little bit of an older book and the pictures of course are not quite as bright and brilliant as some of the newer books like a lot of it's in black and white but there's some information in here that I have not seen in, are you guys done? Popper, please. Um, that I have not seen in other books. Um, so in this book, you can find aromatics, cosmetics, culinary dyeing medicines, and ornamental um, recipes. So. The one thing that I found really cool was the dyeing part. It tells you how you can use herbs and the colors that it will make to dye your clothes if you're into making like dyes for clothes. So um, a lot of people thought that was cool over on my Instagram. And so if you want this book, um, I was told that you can get it on thriftbooks.com. And I also know that a couple other places like eBay and stuff sells it as well. So you guys like this video um please give it a thumbs up sorry my dogs have been such a distraction because they they play hard um but yeah so if you like this video then just let me know and also um i've been doing videos over on my instagram every single day so if you want to in the description i have my instagram handle and you can go follow me over there and i do little small short reels of um, different things about herbs and the farm and just everything about me so definitely go follow me over there and i'll talk to you guys later hope you enjoyed this video